the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Good morning and welcome to worship at Hillier Memorial Christian Church. It is a joy to be here with you in worship this morning. I hope you are staying safe and warm as we continue to navigate the adventures of North Carolina winter weather. If this is your first time joining us for worship online, or perhaps if you've been worshiping with us for a while now, know that we would love a chance to connect with you, a chance to meet you, and to share with you some of what makes Hillier such a special community. If you would like to introduce yourself or to learn more about Hillier, we invite you to shoot us an email at info at hillierchurch.org. We would welcome the opportunity to be in prayer with you and for you. You will notice that our flow of worship this morning is a little different than what we are used to. As we continue to lean in to our sermon series, Better Together, this week we have the opportunity to enact that community by worshiping in song together. Don't worry, next week we'll return to our traditional sermon format. But this week we wanted to have an opportunity to experience the gifts of community in a tangible, embodied way, even though it's through our screens. And we hope as you worship, 
you will experience God's blessing coming to you through one another as we sing together. Will you be my refuge, my haven in the storm? Will you keep the embers warm when my fire's all but gone? Will you remember and bring me sprigs of rosemary? Be my sanctuary till I can carry on. Carry on, carry on. This one knocked me to the ground. This one dropped me to my knees. I should have seen it coming, but it surprised me. Will you be my refuge? My haven in the storm. Will you keep the embers warm when my fire's all but gone? Will you remember and bring me sprigs of rosemary? Be my sanctuary till I can carry on, carry on, carry on. In a state of true believers On the streets called us and them It's gonna take some time Till the world feels safe again Will you be my refuge? My haven in the storm Will you keep the embers warm When my fire's all but gone? Will you remember and bring me sprigs of rosemary? Be my sanctuary till I can carry on, carry on, carry on. Good morning, Hillier. Let us pray together. Loving God, you are near to us right in this very moment. As we breathe in, let us pause and remember that breath 
fills our lungs because you have given us life. Let us remember that we love because you loved us first. And let us remember that we have a hope overflowing because of your Son, Jesus Christ. We rejoice in this day that we gather for worship as the body of Christ. Some of us carry different weights on our shoulders as we sit here today. Worry, sickness, fear, grief, perhaps uncertainty. And you say to all, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Help us to simply come to you, Lord, to rest at your feet. For those of us who are feeling lost today, like a sheep without a shepherd, help us to put our trust in you as our good shepherd. Lead us beside still waters, restore our souls. Help us to grow in communion with you, Lord, and with one another as well. And help us to share this beautiful joy and new life with those around us. We ask for your spirit to move among us, to stir in our hearts this morning. We praise you, Lord, for drawing us near to you and to one another. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. This is the sound of one voice, one spirit, one voice, the sound of one who makes a choice, this is the sound of one voice, this is the sound of
A reading from Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult. Selah. There is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar, kingdoms totter. He utters his voice and the earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Selah. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolation he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the ends of the earth. He breaks the bow, shatters the spear, burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. This is the word of God for us, the people of God. Thanks be to God.
Be still, my soul, thy best, thy heavenly friend. Through thorny ways leads to a joyful end. Be still, my soul, thy God doth undertake. To guide the future as he has the past. Thy hope, thy confidence, let nothing shake. Oh, now mysterious will be bright at last. What then are we to say about these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? No, in all these things we are more than conquerors through him who loved us. For I am convinced that neither death nor life, nor angels nor rulers, nor things present nor things to come, nor powers nor height nor depth, nor anything else in all creation will be able to separate us from the love of God in Christ Jesus, our Lord. Jesus said, I am the bread of life. Whoever comes to me will not be hungry. Whoever believes in me will not be thirsty. I will not send away anyone who comes to me. Friends, because there is one bread, we who are many become one body. The bread that is broken makes us whole. So come, share the bread. Come, drink the cup. Come share the Lord. Please join me in prayer. Our Heavenly Father, you love us so much that you gave us your only begotten Son. Jesus shows us through Scripture how he is our loving shepherd, teaching, healing, and spreading the good news of your kingdom. He asks us all to be his laborers for his harvest through our daily lives, and by teaching, and spreading the good news of your kingdom. Father, we pray that you send us out as laborers into the world, sharing your gospel. We pray for your guidance and direction to help gather your flock. Lord, as we break this bread and drink from this cup of the new covenant, we know you are always with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit so that some of us may send some of us may go, and all of us may pray for his harvest. In Jesus' holy name, we pray. Amen. And so we remember the story. How on that night, Jesus took the bread. He gave thanks for it. And then he broke it, saying, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. In the same way, after supper, Jesus took the cup and said, this cup is the new covenant in my blood, poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Drink this in remembrance of me. For as often as you eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until he comes again.
as members of Christ's body, heirs with Jesus. We join our voices now in the prayer that Jesus has taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now friends, as we leave this place and prepare to enter a new week of life, carry with you the love of God, the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit until we are gathered around the Lord's table again. Thank you friends. Please remember to take a moment now to extend the community by sharing this worship service on your Facebook page or perhaps with somebody you think specifically might need this message of hope and encouragement this morning. Please let us know if there are ways that we can, in, that we can be in prayer with you or for you this week. Take care and go in peace. <laughs>